Let me do you some Daft Punk and Pharrell Williams this afternoon before we hit half past two. And then all of the songs from 2.30 to 3 are from the same year. We call it the flashbacks. Your chance to have a little gameplay, see what you think. If you fancy yourself a bit of a, a bit of a guru when it comes to the music round at a pub quiz, then maybe that's the th- sort of thing for you. Talking of quizzes, don't let me forget, I've got to mention my quiz on Sunday. Yeah, we'll do that later. Right now, let's say hi to Ashley Stacey, shall we? How you doing, Ashley? I'm good, thank you, Rob. Good to see him again. How yeah. you doing? Yeah, I've been well, thank you. Yeah, Thanks busy? for having me back. B- been busy, yeah, been busy. Gigging? Uh, I've been gigging and writing, yeah. I was, you know, after coming on the show Ooh. last time and having you guys play my music out and, you know, a few other radios have picked up on my songs, it's it's kind of like inspirational. It makes you want to sort of write more and... Keep doing it. Get, get your music out there, yeah, exactly, yeah. But just to bring up, like, I had to chat with Steve Lamack yesterday um, from Six Music. He's got a, a book that he wrote, and it was out in 2000, but he's kind of added another chapter to it and it's being re-released next month and he's got a sort of a box set of CDs he's releasing for, like, those lost... It's called Lost Alternatives. Okay. And it's those songs and bands that you can completely either missed or forgot about from the 90s. Yeah. Now, it's just just that element. And we, we got chatting about how, you know, if someone hears a song on the radio and they li- and they like it, they're likely to go out and sort of f- search for them, you know, go and see them live and, yeah. and, and buy the music and such. And it's a different world now with streaming, I guess, yeah. which I guess you're completely across with exactly, yeah. Spotify and Apple Music and Amazon and everything else that goes with it. But ultimately, you still want to just play live. Yeah, definitely. Playing live is a is a buzz. You know, it's it's a it's a great night out for you and hopefully for the people that are watching as well. Yeah. Um, but it, it's good to do both. I, I get a lot of joy from 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 both sides making music as well because you know when you write a song, normally I write on an acoustic, but you sort of have these ideas in your head of how it will sound. Yeah. So if you go into a studio and you you start hearing your sort of ideas, you know, get get bigger and sort of come to life. That's that's a thrill. So I, I love I do love both equally. Do you have do you have a go to friends in the music biz that kind of helps you like add stuff to it? Do you know what I've got a few. So I've, I've, there's a producer uh, Adelstead Studios who I've done done a track with, and I'm going back with him. But I, one one of my friends who lives in in Seacup, where I live, um, he has a home studio, and I've done a couple of tracks with him. And I think the one that you guys are going to play later yeah. uh, is Empty Sky, and that that I recorded at his house. Uh, where it's a home studio basically and the, the guy's amazing you know he's, he's a real talent it's it's nice that he's local and I can go with him and and he sort of brings another ele- element to it with um his um his, his keyboard skills you know <laughs> I might have some ideas he's a wizard. about that he's a, he's a wizard that's that's exactly the word but and I, I, I you know if I have an idea that's all well and good but being able to do it's another yeah. thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is, is he your first person your first port of call when you write a new song yeah you know you, you might feel really good about it you might think this is great I, there's a uh, that's real catchy yeah. it's a bit different to what i've done but it still sits sits within my style is he your first person that you play that to no not necessarily there's, there's a few groups online that i'm sort of that i'm in and I, I will maybe write a song and, and i'll put it in there because you get some good feedback and you sort of say look uh, this is a song that i've just written what do you think of it and sometimes you know it's good to get honest feedback it's yeah, good for yeah. people to say we don't like this bit change that add that um because you know when you write a song you sort of look at it in one way and you need sort of fresh ears on it yeah um but in terms of that guy no he'd be more sort of right i'm ready do you know what i mean i'm, yeah. I'm ready to get this song done then i'll go to him and you know if he's free he's free or you know th- it depends really if it depends how you want it to sound i go to him if i want a sort of more polished bigger production but maybe yeah. go to a studio if you want it a bit more rugged and raw and a bit more live and you know see i love the fact that things. there's that community out there i mean we've met lots of singer songwriters lots of bands that have come into the studio and played for us live which is what i've been trying to do as often as possible with this you know in the afternoons on bbc essex and it's just great to see there's a community of people willing to give honest feedback yeah and it's not about like shooting someone down or anything like that or 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 kind of brown nosing someone and going oh it's a great song you know because you don't need that what you need is someone going do you know what that is really great but what that could do with is a nice string section in the back or something yeah and i think there's always something you might not think of yeah that's that's very true that, that you know someone might think of something you haven't and also different abilities um, you know, someone might be a beginner, but at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of positive in what they're doing. As mm. you know, so you sort of pick up on that and focus areas. And I think no matter sort of how long you've been playing, how good you are, um, there's always room for improvement or things to think about. Um, so yeah, it's generally from my experience, luckily, it's quite a sort of supportive community. The, the you know the music world that I've been in anyway. So um, yeah, so it's, it's it's nice to see that and. And also, if someone speaks to me, that's you know how I'd like to give sort of encouragement. Um, and 
and be constructive with feedback yeah. and stuff like you know because you want it in return you, you know you kind of give out what you want to get exactly, back doesn't yeah, it? you know you exactly get, and to quote the new radicals you get what you get or <laughs> yeah. get what you give it's a good and song it, it's a great song <laughs> you're gonna play us a couple of live tracks in fact you're gonna play us an acoustic version of, of the song yeah. the empty sky yeah super it is quarter past two right now though so let's do this travel news from bbc essex a little travel update from mr barry lewis please and we have live music as often as we can on the shows. Rob Jelly. This is where we're going now. This is BBC Essex. Ashley Stacey, my guest this afternoon in the studio. I uh, see so you sort of you're a Kent boy, really. I am really, yeah. Yeah, yeah Kent yeah. boy for but you pop over to Essex quite often, I don't like you? To, 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 go to over here if I can, yeah. Yeah, actually and um where's where would you like to play? Like if there's a venue sort of nearby where Well I passed um Highlands Park on the way here, yeah. so yeah, maybe V Festival one day would be uh... yeah, 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 but the thing is V Festival's gone now, isn't it? Oh wait, whatever it is, it, I, I think it's Rise, seen... we, we, we that's had it, Rise, Rise yeah, Festival yeah, yeah. last year and then Oh, and apparently that's not happening this year. Okay. We, need, we need we need a big well stand. You could go stand and calling. That's up the road. Okay, I'll take that. Whatever. Take that. All but, right. You know, I've, I've been to be a few times um, over the years. I love it there. So driving past Highlands, I was looking in, thinking, yeah, memories in there. <laughs> Maybe yeah, one day. absolutely. Okay, we can play a couple of songs. You're gonna play us an acoustic version of Empty Skies. Are you gonna do the I'll, first? Yeah, I'll do that first. Yeah. All right, Ashley Stacey on BBC Six. This is Empty Sky. Trade in my soul tonight if you could guarantee me and you. Cause you don't know what it's like to feel the way I do. It's always clouding up my mind and I'm starting to feel all of the time like it's bleeding me dry. Give you my world tonight If you swore you'd give it back to me I wanna show you how it feels Climbing in my tree Cause I'm here and I'm trying to redesign But I'm starting to feel all of the time Like it's bleeding me dry You don't know what it's like to fly in an empty sky You don't know what it means to me And you sail your ship at night to the land that I want to find While life was left behind in an empty sky Trade in my soul tonight if it would mean anything to you. I give you my world tonight and what a stupid thing to do. Cause you're always clouding up my mind and I'm here pining for sunlight. You don't know what it it's like to fly in an empty sky You don't know what it means to me And you sail your ship at night To the land that I want to find While I fly alone In my empty sky In my empty sky In my empty sky In my empty sky You don't know what it's like to fly in an empty sky Sail your ship at night to the land that I want to find While life is left behind in an empty
Gucci Sky. Empty Sky, Ashley Stacy on BBC Essex this afternoon. There is some seriously obvious influences, I think, in your music. Okay. What, what do you hear? Um, I think there's definitely a, a, an Oasis oh, influence. for sure. Like, like, like they couldn't not be in any sort of British singer-songwriter <laughs> in the last 20 years. Yeah. Um, but who, who else would you say you listened to before you kind of decided that's what you wanted to do? Oasis was probably the earliest that I can yeah. remember. That that was the first I remember sort of hearing on the radio and even on the pub, you know, the pub jukebox with my parents when yeah. I was a kid. Um, but yeah, also uh, Arctic Monkeys, I love. Um, I used to be really into Pete Doherty and his songwriting. Um, Arctic Monkeys. Um, yeah, you, you mentioned last time Kasabian and Jake Bug. You, you, yeah, you sort yeah, of said yeah. you could hear that and that, that they're, they're in there as well. I listen, a band called DMAs, um, who are a new band, sort of, they're Australian, but they do that sort of Britpop thing. Um, so them as well, really, all that all that sort of vibe. So you sit down and you sit there with acoustic, write your ideas. Have you sat down and written with other people um, well? I have done, yeah. My, my friend Steve Holbrook, and it's been a while um, since we've we've wrote together, but yeah, we, we, we do that. He'll, he'll give me an idea or vice versa, and then we'll sort of flesh it out together. And we've been in the studio together and recorded, and we actually do want to get in again this year because we've got one that we think we can sort of work on together yeah um, and it's nice to write with other people because it, it does end up sort of taking it somewhere else you know yeah, you talk course. about yeah, influences yeah, yeah. their influences come into it and and it gives it an, a, a a different vibe a different twist especially maybe if someone's written a verse and the other's written a chorus then the song it it's got, gets you know it changes in it and that, that's quite nice um, so yeah, hopefully. So about Empty Sky, where did Empty Sky come from? Empty Sky was was one of my own. It was the, the what I started with was the the chord progression. So yep. I, I wrote that, and um, it sort of um, yeah, it was conjuring images in my head of of like flying and the sky, and it okay. was just sort of you know I, I thought it had a bit of a sort of bond feel in in the terms of the yeah in terms of the chords. Um, so I wanted to sort of Jack be... Jack White. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that yeah, could yeah, be yeah. that. And it, it, I wanted to be a little bit sort of vague, but I think um, maybe sort of relationships or the way you're feeling is quite a nice way to sort of put put something like that into lyrics. Um, but that sounds... I Personally, I think that that's got a bit of a... I don't know if you've listened to Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds yeah. in terms of songwriting. I think it would... Because a lot of people always say to me, like, this song's like... This song's like that band. This song's like that band. No one, no one's actually sort of thought about Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds, but I think that one I could sort of, I could almost picture him having it. So yeah, yeah, if he's it's, listening, it's, I'll, it's, I'll no, sell it. There's no it. denying that, like you know, there's, there's, you know, whether Noel Gallagher a solo work or whether he's with Oasis as well. Like you know, there's there's just something in that sort of songwriting yeah. that has really influenced music since the early nineties. Completely, yeah, yeah. And, and that I, song sounds so much different for those who haven't heard the the full sort of studio version of Empty Sky yet, yeah, which you can do so now, yeah. Spotify, Apple Music, and so on and so forth um you know there's it it stands alone like that nicely it sounds really good because you kind of strip it back and you get to sort of listen more so to the words okay when thank it's just you. kind of that's... like acoustic yeah yeah that's um, nice to hear, which yeah. sometimes often often does happen well i probably more often than not happens i, I often fall in love with when i because i look at a lot of acoustic stuff and the, quite a lot of the time i fall in love with the acoustic version first yeah and then um i hear the productions and sometimes to my ear they sound overproduced but then when you're on the other side of it and you're doing it and you make a big production yeah, you yeah. hear it and you sort of you know you think yeah, wow i understand yeah, yeah, yeah i get yeah, it now yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do you often play live with a band or do you often try and keep it very much to yourself mostly acoustic because the problem with a band is like logistics you know you've got to yeah. find people that are free and also you know a lot of the people that I hang about with they're, they're songwriters as well and you know they're playing their own stuff so you'd have to sort of share it about which maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do it at some point but yeah generally it's um, solo acoustic what I do I've got a gig coming up where I'm doing a duet set with another guy um, for half an hour just at the end of the night after we do our solo sets which is kind of nice just oh, that's cool. doing harmonies and things you yeah, know yeah yeah um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You top or bottom harmony? But we switch about. We oh, switch okay. about. Actually, yeah, we, we, we're. Um... What about bunk beds? Top or bottom? <laughs> yeah, we like to. Jim, we don't use bunks. Just the same one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're playing actually uh, not far from home at the uh, the Iron Horse and Sid Cup on the 13th of April. That's right. Yeah. Um, but then you're actually in Vange at I am. the uh, Winged Horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In May, which uh, Sunday the fifth. That's that's right. Sunday yeah. the fifth. Is uh, that an afternoon or an evening? Kind uh, it's of thing? eight o'clock till 10:30. So yeah, they've asked me to do two and a half hours by myself, which will probably be the longest I've done. So I'll see how. 
many breaks I can get in there. But um, um, no, I'm really looking forward to that. Actually, I, I played there once before, and it was a um, really good crowd, really good atmosphere. Yeah, and uh, they're, they're having me back, which is, which is nice. Well, so I'm listen, I'm, I'm always uh, for any venue that's willing to put some live music on for people to watch because we need more of that. There's lots of that. Um, venues closing left, right, and centre. So yeah. anywhere that's willing to have some live music. Thank you very much, Winged Horse in Vange. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> Ashley, you're going to play this one more before you dash? Yeah, I'm going to do one more. It's called The Girl in the L, and I wrote this one quite a while ago, and I did a bit of a production um, at home in my home studio, and um, about a few people have said that they liked it. It's a bit of a favourite of people that actually listen to my songs, so I, I, I said I'll play it for them. All right, this is The Girl in the Earl on BBC Essex. It's Ashley, Ashley Stacey. I was walking down the strand with my phone in my hand Burly bourbon warm in my veins Looking for the girl I saw last night in the year Hoping for some more of the same We was running down Brick Lane, getting soaked in the rain Struggling, trying to hail down a cab but We was dizzy from the gin when we went for a spin She took my hand and then she jumped on my lap So tell your friends that you'll be late home Tell them you miss your last train Tell them you're running out of battery Tell them there's no time to explain Yeah, tell your friends that you'll be late now Tell them you lost your last train Tell them you're running out of battery Tell them there's no time to explain Yeah, I was waiting at New Cross Feeling at a loss When a message came up onto my phone It said I'm feeling impatient I'll see you at the station Sorry, baby, but you're taking me home So tell your friends that you'll be late home Tell them you missed your last train Tell them you're running out of battery Tell them there's no time to explain Woo! Yeah, tell your friends that you'll be late home Tell them you miss your last train Tell them you out of battery Tell them there's no time to explain Yeah, tell your sister you'll be late now Tell her you're caught up in the rain Tell her put mom out in the category Tell her there's no time to explain Yeah, yeah, yeah Ashley Young on BBC Essex this afternoon. Uh, uh, Stacey, sorry. I'll take Ashley uh, Young. Uh, <laughs> what, where did that come from? Where did that come from? Goodness <laughs> gracious me, Ashley. Um, thanks so much. Listen, um, 5th Thank of you. May, Sunday the 5th of May, we can come see you at the Vange. Yeah. A couple of hours, live music there as well. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming back in again. Thank you for having me. Spotify, Pleasure. Apple Music. Yeah, uh, Ash- Ashley Stacey Music on Facebook is where I sort of put gig info and um, links up. So that's a good one to follow me on. Awesome stuff. Ashley, thanks very much, man. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. The Flashback with Rob Jelly. This is BBC Essex.